yeah, so I've been hunting for uh, all my life, and I, uh, I've, I've taken enough animals now, and I'm not too worried about actually um, doing myself. But I actually like to hunt the animal when I take a client with me, as though I'm still doing it like I used to, and get them as close as I can. And that gives me a bigger buzz than most things. And then when I get right on top of the animal to when I'm going to do something, I just hand it over to the client and say, there we go. Yeah, when people come over here and stay with us, we've got a, um, an apartment that's off, the ha off our house. And um, they can stay in that and have their own privacy there, which is what a lot of people do like. And, um, and then they come over to our house and see us whenever they want, and they have meals with us. So they have their privacy and they can come into it our house and be part of our family. So when clients come over we usually get them to fly into Queenstown Airport which is an international airport. We uh, will drive over and pick them up. It's probably uh, three quarters of an hour from here to Queenstown. So when we pick them up we'll show them a wee bit of Queenstown if they want and there's a quaint little town called Arrowtown just off Queenstown which is a very very beautiful little place. I try to treat all my clients the same but I I get to know them within the first day at the rifle range and talking and, and what they can do and where they've been and that's when I work it out what we're going to do the next day. People don't just have to come and hunt with me because I've found areas that we can actually do a lot of photographic safaris on. Now people will come up and see animals and then they can take photos of them or they can hunt them. There's a lot of changes going on in, in, the, in the game and the industry so I just thought I'd just throw in a lot more different things that people can do when they come hunting with, with us. Um, like this, uh, we'll put a bit of jet boating in and uh, a bit of scenery, a bit of uh, everything else. This area I think is probably the best area in the South Island of New Zealand because we've got lakes, we've got mountains. And I, I think 50% of the hunt with me is the scenery and the people and what we do. Croc is uh, a good mate of mine and uh, we've worked together for a long time. He manages the area where the tar are and he actually helps as well and puts us in areas where the tar um, more thicker perhaps and he wants that area sort of hunted more than other areas. We start hunting here um, half February right through to August and that's our season basically. After August the antlers fall off the animals, they shed like your elk so they can't come after that. That's the only thing so February, March, April perfect. May starts getting cooler, gets a wee bit harder, that's fine, people want to do that. May, June, July August is, can be very cold, so that's when you bring a lot of winter clothes. Yeah, the weather in this area can be uh, two or three different types. We're very seasonal here compared to the North Island of New Zealand, so we have extreme uh, frosts and extreme heat. Mm -hmm.